It has been a minute since we've done a good old high support affordable sports bra review on this channel. We did a recent affordable sports bra video, but none of those were truly like high support options. I try to mix in a couple different options, but in this video, I'm confident that we have some runnable sports bras. Sports bras where the girls are contained, they won't be bouncing. So if I were to ever take up running, these would be the sports bras that I would try. Can't say that that is on the horizon for me, but if I ever did, we have some options. If you're new here, my name is Kat and we do a lot of activewear reviews. I like to throw in brands of all ranges, affordable, high-end. So today we mostly have affordable sports bra options from Amazon, just because they have a great variety of affordable options. But a lot of these brands you can shop on their website individually as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So one of the best affordable brands on Amazon that does high impact sports bras is Siricon. I think that's how you say it. I mean, I'm my guess is as good as anyone's, but I have tried a couple of their sports bras in the past and they had some really good looking ones today. So, so we're going to start out with the Siricon front adjustable sports bra. This one actually comes in band and cup sizes. So I got a 32 double D and not only does it come in band and cup sizes, but it has molded cut pads that are not removable. So you're not going to get that weird cut pad outline if that's something that bothers you. They're just going to be solid cut pads. We have an elastic band along the bottom. It does have a three hook closure in the back for a little bit of adjustability. And this one, you can actually take the Velcro straps and adjust them on the front. So I will show you once it's on, but I reviewed this in my, I think I reviewed it in my She Fit sports bra video because I wanted to give some affordable options that were kind of like the She Fit because the She Fit's like $80 or something. This one is only $28. The material feels kind of like a performance material. It's not really brushed, but it is soft. There are some mesh segments as well. So here's that kind of side mesh and then here is the main material and then you have that three hook closure in the back all right so here it is nice and snug along the bottom band i feel like the bottom band maybe runs a little bit small just because i'm pretty sure i'm on the loosest hook right now it's definitely snug so not necessarily a bad thing sports bras and regular bras you're supposed to start on the loosest hook and then as it stretches out a little bit over time you tighten it up but definitely a little snug perfect amount of space in the cups I'm not gaping, I'm not spilling out. So I would say like the cup sizes are pretty accurate. Coverage is definitely full. I'm not getting any side boob spillage. Um, it scoops away just a tiny bit from the armpits, but that just kind of helps it not chafe your armpit as much. So I'm okay with that. And then we have the adjustable straps. So the adjustable straps are on the inside of the sports bra. So you undo them like that. You can tighten them up like this and then you lay the Velcro back down and you get a little bit of extra lift. So it's a really easy way to adjust your sports bra because I know when I have those sports bras that adjust in the back, you kind of have to take them off to be able to really adjust them. At least for me, I am not an expert at working behind my back. But yeah, this is great coverage. I don't think it looks like too industrial. I think it looks still like a cute sports bra. We almost have like little cutout details with this. And here's the back. You have a little bit of openness, a little racer back. Then you have that hook closure in the back and support. I would feel comfortable running in this. I really don't feel like I'm jiggling. So I'm going to go with a high support. So first sport bra is a win. I have tried this one in the past and I always love it. The cup pads give you a nice shape as well. So this is the Champion C9 Women's Power Shape Bra. So this one just comes in regular sizes, like small, medium, large kind of thing. It has a little more expanded than that, but these are not individual cup sizes and this reminded me a lot of a bra I used to wear in college for dance practice and stuff it does have molded cups and I remembered this one having a really good amount of support for being just like a small medium large type sports bra so we have a performance material molded cups they do definitely have a little bit of room for a bust in here two hook closure on the back thick adjustable straps as well so I wanted to get this one because I thought it had like some cute two-tone details let's try it on all right, here is the champion bra. So I had initially tightened the straps just a little bit before I got them on because I assumed I would need that a little bit. Then I couldn't even get the bra on, so I had to loosen them up all the way. And now I feel like I could maybe get a little more lift, but the adjustable part is all the way in the back. So it's like kind of hard to reach and do that. So we won't be adjusting them for now. So definitely a little looser in the band than the last one. Pretty consistent with the size small, but I am on the tightest. So I think the bottom band could actually be a little more snug on this one. Overall, pretty good room in the cups. I would not totally call this one a full coverage though, because we do have a little pop of cleavage here, a little more scooping around here. So I would do medium coverage for this one and not quite high support. Definitely a little bit of jiggling going on. So 
medium support. My hair is just going wild because it's hard to get these bras on without messing up the hair. So I do remember that about this bra when I did have it in college, like I could have used a little bit more support, but layered with the practice tops I wore for my dance team, they were fine. And I liked that it wasn't like 100% full coverage compared to some of the other bras, but you still have those molded cut pads. So if you are maybe like, like a C or a D cup or something, or you don't need like the highest level of support. I still like this bra because it's hard to find molded cup pads. I think it's a flattering shape, but for my ladies looking for absolute maximum jiggle control, this is not gonna be the one. Okay, this is the one I'm most excited for. This is another Syracon bra. And if this had been around when I was doing my She Fit video, because look at this, this definitely has a lot of elements that the She Fit bra has, which is one of the best bras for really keeping the girls down where they need to be. Not 100% though. So we have this kind of like almost like nylon mesh material. Are these removable cups? Okay, they are actually removable cups. This one also came in band and cup sizes. So I got a 32 double D. Looks like it's going to be good coverage. We have little fabric protectors along the top and the bottom here, logo along the side. It's definitely like an industrial sports bra. Like you feel like, you know, it's not like a cutesy little sports bra, but if you're really trying to keep the girls where they need to be, Sometimes that's what you need. Three hook closure on the back, thick elastic band along the bottom. The cup heads are actually nice and large. This is probably one of the largest cups I've seen. And then we have more of those little Velcro adjustable straps to really hoist the girls up there. So let's try it on. So we're going to start out with this one unadjusted. So it does have a three hook closure in the back, but I prefer to get this one on by unzipping it and then zipping it up. So it actually has a little hook detail so that it will never fully unzip. The She Fit has that as well. It also just makes it easier to zip up. So then we find the zipper, take that back. The zipper feels okay quality. It's making a couple noises on the way up. Then you can fold the little fabric guys in so that there's no zipper against your skin and the zipper feels like it's going to stay in place well once it's locked down. So when you flip it up, it moves up and down. And then when you flip it down, it's locked and doesn't zip. So it is locked into place. So we have this thick elastic band along the bottom, nice and snug in this size. I would say I have a good amount of space up here. I'm pretty sure this comes in band and cup sizes In the she fit only comes in like small, medium, large. So win for the Syracon. I feel like it's always nice to have the band and cup size options. Then we have these straps. So you can untie them or unvelcro them and then you lift them up and it just like lifts the girls up into the skies. You will not have any bouncing. The girls are locked and loaded. I feel like I need to keep the sports bra just for events when I nearly need to be, you know, shock absorbed because this is feeling pretty good. So overall full coverage, since I did tighten those straps up a bit, um, it's a little bit close to the armpits right now. So that could get a little bit uncomfortable with time, but you could just easily loosen up the straps. The elastic band at the bottom is actually on the softer side. So I don't feel like it would cut into you or anything. And then you have crisscross straps in the back, that three hook closure. The three hook closure is nice because you can kind of tighten up the bottom band a little bit, but I don't feel like it's totally necessary in support. There is not a bounce to be seen. There's not a bounce. The shimmy, I mean, we always do a little bit of the shimmy. This is probably the most supportive bra video. So props to Syracon. This one's a win. Definitely good for the large cup sizes. I love it. Next, we have a different brand. This is called Heath Yoga. So this one just came in regular sizes. I got a size small and this one is $23.99. So I really just looked up like high support sports bras on Amazon and definitely some of them were like questionable how much support they would actually be. This is one that may be somewhat questionable, but maybe a little more comfortable than some of the other bras. It's made of a brushed fabric, so it's nice and soft, and it's lined with this mesh with kind of rounded, removable cups. The cups are not crinkled or anything, they feel good. Then we have these thick but adjustable straps. So for me, if you're gonna do an adjustable strap, a thick one is always the way to go. Just going to not be as tight on the shoulders. And then we have a three hook closure in the back with a pretty firm elastic along the bottom. Let's try it. All right, so this is definitely not going to be our highest support option for today but still really good coverage. This is also the only bra that's made of a brushed material. So nice and soft on the skin. The elastic at the bottom is secure, but it's also lined with the brush material. So it's soft on the inside. You have that white mesh on the inside as well. It is not an itchy mesh or anything. We do have rounded removable cups on the inside. I did have to adjust those a little bit as I got it on. Again, really full coverage, but not high neck. So I kind of love that in between where it's not all the way up to your neck. Girls are still covered. A little bit of scooping away 
from the armpits and support. Support is about a medium to high. I still do get a teeny bit of jiggling, but it's really not much. I would feel comfortable with most activities in this. And then we have those adjustable straps in the back, as well as the three hook closure. Overall true to size, but if you're in between, I'd probably size down because I'm already on the tightest hook of this and it's not really that tight. All right, another one that was like questionable if it's high support is from the brand Running Girl. Running Girl is like one of the first Amazon brands I tried like so long ago. All right, so this is the Running Girl High Impact Sports Bra, size small, $23.99. So this one is a performance material. We have some seam detailing along the front, a little sweetheart neckline, and they are sewn in cups on the inside. So if you prefer sewn in cups, this has that, and there's an elastic along the bottom. This one does not have three hook closure in the back, so it can be a little more difficult to get on and off. But personally, I don't really use the three hook closure very much, so I prefer this. Although I would have liked to see some adjustable straps. The straps here are just thick elastics. Okay, so I like this one as an option if you're looking for a bra with molded cut pads, but you don't necessarily care about anything adjustable because this one does not have anything that's adjustable in the back or on the straps. This one definitely runs a little bit on the smaller side. I feel like it's okay in my size small here, but if I were any bigger, I would really need a size up. So if you're in between, go with the bigger size. I love the molded cups. They feel like they hit me in a nice place. There's definitely room for larger cup sizes in this bra. It, it feels a little bit tight along the last here so just be careful consider a size up even though we see a tiny bit of cleavage right here I'm still gonna give it a full coverage because I do feel completely covered but the support is only medium to high so not quite as much as some of the other bras today but definitely still good if you don't want like a three hook closure in the back to lean against because sometimes that can be uncomfortable or if you don't want to look quite as like zip up industrial as some of the other bras this one looks a little bit more just like a casual cute bra it's got some little strappy details in the back but definitely still has nice support and coverage next we have a sports bra from Yvette they have a lot of high impact bras on their website so I feel like their range on Amazon wasn't quite as much so definitely check out their website as well because I have reviewed Yvette sports bras in the past. Some of Yvette sports bras are actual band and cup sizes but most of them are like small medium large but they have small plus medium plus large plus as well so the plus is for like a D and up. So the regular small would be like a small A through C and the small plus is like D cup and upwards. So I got the small plus. So this is this little mesh bra. So it's got two layers. It has a performance material on the inside and then it has an overlay of mesh. It has a full zip. The straps are not adjustable, unfortunately. I feel like they missed that opportunity because they are an elastic strap. So I feel like it would have been easy for them to make that adjustable. Two hook closure in the back and most of Yvette's bras are molded cup pads, so they are sewn in, not removable. It's one thing I've always liked about Yvette bras, just because sometimes you don't feel like dealing with removable cups because they can be annoying. I settle with it a lot because most bras that I wear that I are like my style have removable cups, but for a high impact day, nice to have ones that are not removable. Okay, here's this bra. So we have the mesh overlay. So it's just like a complete second layer of mesh, um, an elastic band along the bottom. This one does have the three hook closure in the back. So you can kind of loosen and tighten that as you please. This one does fully zip, but it does not have one of those little hooks that connects it and makes it a little bit easier to zip. So just keep that in mind. It's also not a locking zipper. It's a YKK zipper, which we've now learned do not lock but that's fine I've never had a zip up bra come unzipped during my workout overall sizing is good the small plus fits me well I don't really have any excess space um I'm not falling out of it definitely full full coverage this one actually does feel like a high support the only thing I wish is that the straps up here were adjustable I feel like it just would have been so easy to add a little adjustable strap in there and that would have just given me like a teeny bit more lift even though I'm already getting a high support in this I feel like it could just be a little bit more Yvette has a lot of other high support sports bras as well so I recommend checking out their website but I definitely feel like the Siricon bras today were just a step above everything else like quality is amazing support was just like the highest out of everything so this is like not medium to high support but just like a teeny bit below high could be a teeny bit higher i also just prefer slightly softer bras i feel like the elastic on this one has a little seam at the bottom could kind of irritate your skin over time as well as the mesh just isn't like the softest material and if you are someone who is like you know what i need 
an underwire in my sports bra. Serum Punk's got you covered. I have never tried an underwire sports bra. I love regular underwire bras. Don't really find like other little bralettes comfortable. I just feel like being lifted and supported in an underwire bra is what I like. So why not an underwire sports bra? I'd be worried if this was like uncomfortable, like when you're moving, but I don't know, I move around in a underwire regular bra on the daily and it's not a problem. So this is a double lined, but no cut padding or anything in this. So for me, I feel like the cut pads usually give me some structure and then some support as well. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna like this without, oh, is this inside out? This, this bra is confusing me. So it, it's not inside out. You're supposed to see the underwire on the outside. It has some mesh along the back and three hook closure. And it's kind of a performance material, but it is on the softer side here. Only thing with not having any lining in this is that you are going to get some nippage. And then you have adjustable straps, but they're adjustable. So I've had some bras like this before. You basically unhook it and then rehook it. It's hard to do this in the camera because I'm not actually seeing what I am doing. Anyways, you rehook it and then the strap is shorter. So it has all these little things that you can tighten up the straps. So this one actually did not come in any 32 band sizes. So I went with a 34D. That's kind of like a 32 double D sister size. Although I don't really believe in sister sizes. I am making this one work. This one had like five different adjusters on the back. So I was actually able to get it pretty tight. So I'd say it's actually very snug on the bottom. So if you are 32, you should be able to get away with a 34. And the cup size space also feels good. Um, I'm definitely filling it out with no gaping or anything. I would definitely say full coverage. This is just absolutely encompassed each of the girls. They have their own assigned to seats. And the underwire is sitting flush against my skin, fitting really well. Definitely going up into the armpit a little bit, but not in a way that bothers me. And honestly, like leaning around, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to replicate some arm movements. I really don't feel like the underwire would bother me in this situation. So who knows, maybe you'll see me in an underwire sports bra. This is a bra that I kind of wouldn't feel comfortable wearing by itself in the gym, just because it kind of looks just like a regular bra. I don't know, that kind of throws me off. I do like the little like piping detail though. The material's really soft. Definitely could have some nippage problems though. I did adjust the straps a little bit. This one's being kind of funny because it has the tag there. That one is doing okay. I have some mesh inserts back there. And then the support, I feel pretty supported. I would say this is a high support. I'm gonna go with actually medium high support for this one, just because I feel like it doesn't have that compression that the other sports bras are giving that really just like holds the girls down, but I still would feel comfortable in high impact activities in this bra. And the last bra, another Siracon bra. They just really have the best variety of high impact bras on Amazon, and they're all like under $30, which is just crazy for what you'd normally pay for a high impact bra like this. Like you could easily pay like 60 to 80 to 90 dollars. But again, I believe Siracon has a website if you prefer not to shop on Amazon. So this is the Siracon mesh full coverage sports bra. This one is a size small and it is 28 dollars. So it has two layers. One is a performance material, and then it has some little mesh overlays, couple straps in the back. This one is just an elastic on the bottom, no three hook closure or anything. And then the inside does have padding that's in there. Um, it's kind of a lighter layer of padding, should still cover up the nips, but it's not going to be super structured. All right, this is the only Siracon sports bra that did not have anything to adjust. And this one is snug. So if you're in between sizes, definitely size up. This bottom band is feeling very, very tight. That snugness will help give me a little bit of extra support though. This one, the padding, it almost just feels like, it's not like a cut pad that was sewn in. It's more like a light lining of a little bit of padded material, which is actually kind of nice. Like it's not too constricting. You can kind of fit in any shape. Coverage, a teeny bit of side boob poking out the side but I still think I'm gonna give it overall full coverage. We do have these areas of mesh as well as some mesh strap overlays in the back. And yeah, no hook closure in the back either, no adjustable straps, but I don't really need to adjust this one because it's already fitting like a glove. A little bit on the snug side though. Support, okay, out of all the Siracon bras, I feel like this one is kind of a step down. So I'm gonna go with medium to high support. And although I like not having a three hook closure in the back because sometimes that can be uncomfortable when working out, I just feel like this one be, with it being so snug, I just needed a little bit of something to make it easier to get on. So definitely preferred some of the other Siracon bras today, but this one is still a good option. It comes with some cute colors. Yeah. All right guys, that's it for the review. Overall, I feel like we found a lot of really good high support affordable bras today. Almost everything in this video was under $30, which for a nice high impact bra, you know that's hard to find. Leave your video suggestions in the comments down below and I'm making a list. I always like to hear what you guys have to say in your requests. If you've made it this far and you haven't yet subscribed, please be sure to do so and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.